Hey gang, Zippo. Got me a real cool new tripod. Kind of looks like a little spider. It's got uh, magnetic feet. So right now it's attached to the hood. You can get one of those legs in there. Maybe? Nope, can't get the leg in there. But anyway, here's the hood to the old B10. Um, and see how nice and smooth the panning is and everything? Sweet! Okay, enough of that. Got the fleet outside, and I brought it out mainly because of the addition of the old Squire 9, aka Engine 44. And uh, right beside her, the old landlord. Right beside that, the old Squire. So I got both my Squires flanking the old landlord. And we've got uh, Ugly Alice sitting here in all of her wonderful glory. Sporting an old uh, Murray. I think that's where I got that seat off of. Murray tractor. But I'm going to pop this thing off the uh, tripod. If that's what you want to call it. Then I can show it to you. Let me do that. I'll just pop this sucker off of here. Sorry for the jarring here. There we go. Here, check that thing out. The magnetic feet. And it's really smooth. Up and down. Anyway, that's enough of that. And then, of course, we've got the old B10. And uh, I thought what I'd do real quick is uh, just give you guys a story on each one and how they came to be. Um... Over in Ohio, uh, a buddy of mine, Craig, put this up on eBay, and for whatever reason, uh, nobody put any bids in on it. So I threw a bid out there, and I paid $100.86. But that turned out to be a treasure trove of a trip going out there to pick this up. I picked it up by itself. Uh, the story behind it is that its entire life was spent only tilling and that's it sorry I'm putting my hand in the sling on the camera here so I can hold it a little more steady um, spent its entire life it was purchased specifically to till had a 10 inch overdrive pulley on it and tiller mount and tiller uh, when uh, Craig got it and when the tractor gave up the guy went out and bought a B12 used it just a till so this sat in a barn for ages and uh, you, know, you can tell by looking at the paint that it has suffered quite a bit and I didn't want to really touch anything on the tractor to take the character away from it uh, mainly because um, it earned its keep and it earned its keep as just a once maybe twice a year tractor and uh, as a result, that $100.86 was very well spent. Tight as a drum, everything, just in, in real good mechanical shape, you know, and you, as you would expect because it wasn't used a whole lot. So then we skip over here to Ugly Alice. And I've done a video just on Ugly Alice, um, but we'll talk about her real quick. Yep. Parts, not necessarily simplicity parts, but parts from 45 different tractors total and I've had parts sent in from literally from coast to coast to put on Ugly Alice which is pretty cool people uh, see some stuff on there and they think hmm I got this I'll send it and uh, you know like the skulls I was sent all the skulls for the tractor I don't know how she wound up uh, becoming a, a deathmatch competitor but uh, I just recently mounted that I had a problem. My high-low, okay, when uh, I would have it in low gear, my gear shift was smacking it with both the skulls on. So I took it off and just put a knob on there. But anyway, um, so I've already gone over Ugly Alice with you guys a, a few times, so we won't uh, dwell on her. 16 horse, yeah, showed you guys the new, I think I didn't, oh well, maybe I didn't. Um, got my B16 
stickers on there because it is a 16 horsepower um, but it's a 1964 the only thing remaining original to the actual tractor when I bought it was here right now is just the frame everything else literally everything else has been swapped out including the rear end uh, the front grill support is from a B12 so on and so forth uh, front axle came off of a, another donated B10 that was in better shape than the one that was on there um, and the price for this tractor I got it from uh, Jan over in Flora, Indiana and we were there for something totally different and I happened to see it and it looked like a house had fallen on it I said Jan what do you want for that and he goes oh lord I just about pay you to take it away he said how about 175 bucks I said alright I'll take a chance it had the tiller drive on it and the 32 inch tiller mounted to it for that hundred and seventy five dollars and I got home 20 minutes later had the engine running and actually went out and tilled my garden the same day I got it home so it was completely functional just looked like crap so anyway now on to uh, what well, we're up to six minutes on to the Squire now the Squire was uh, purchased out in western Indiana from a gentleman named Lowell I bought a, brought a bunch of stuff home from him uh, he was emptying out a Quonset uh, barn that was if I remember right 120 feet long something to that effect somewhere around there and I uh, got neighbors going by slowing down and gawking wondering what in the world I'm doing <laughs> um, but initially I was told he had a Montgomery Ward's Garden Mark Squire that was quote quote restored now, we got out to it it was not restored it was pretty much a basket case but he said don't fret let's go out to that Quonset hut and uh, look at the stuff in there it turned out to be a real honey hole so uh, with the tractor I brought so much stuff home put it all on eBay paid for the trip completely it was a six hundred dollar purchase made that six hundred dollars and then some just off of what I brought home I what uh, uh, over a thousand dollars as a matter of fact so you know I guess we can call the squire uh, the gimme um, from that trip and paid for getting it some decent tire wheels and tires we've all seen the landlord no she is not restored everybody says boy it's a beautifully restored it's not restored quit saying that um, I've got the seat cover on it now because I had a wrench in my back pocket and didn't want to pop a hole in the new seat but um, the old uh, old landlord if you guys want to hear a story or read a story exactly the origin of uh, the old landlord and all that instead of me getting into it here just go to simple tractors and uh, look up tractor of the month you'll see it on the banner that uh, uh, is on the home page so just click on tractor of the month I've entered it for uh, tractor of the month there told the story and then of course Brian buddy uh, Pam done told me I'll stay the hell away from you that that you belong to her and <laughs> I, I told her that was just fine I don't swing that way so we had a good laugh this afternoon about that but uh, I'm still I'm just awestruck you know it, it, what a gesture fantastic awesome gesture um, haven't painted the wheels yet I did go ahead and throw some hubcaps on those are not permanent I will have Firestone tri bars wide tri bars on it just like the ones on uh, the old landlord um, hydro will not go on this one I do have a hydro that will go on ugly Alice I'm just waiting on the bevel gearbox bracket to mount the uh, slave or the the uh, hydraulic cylinder to but now we're going to take a walk around the back of it uh, you can see that the rear sleeve hitch and uh, um, seat pan stop right there are donated from a B10 the same B10 that donated the front axle to Ugly Alice over there uh, all in all I, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to nitpick the little things.
Now you can see down here I've got to clean the hub. I'm just going to pop the wheel off, clean the hub real good, degrease it, uh, scrape any flaking paint off and give it a shot of the copper. And then, of course, everybody always, whenever I, it's funny, I go to the tractor shows and I go to look and I'm riding around on the old landlord. I can't make it 15, 20 feet between people stopping me. Hey, are you Zippo? Dude, your video's on this or your video's on that and blah, blah, and blah. And I, it's, I, it, it's heartwarming actually because uh, that's why I do it. I do the videos to help people out. So, and since I'm getting back into the swing of throwing more videos up, for those of you who have uh, some problems, I'm uh, going to be more attentive to my inbox and my comments um, since things are settling down here with uh, taking care of uh, personal business. But uh, I, I'm sorry, I just can't quit looking at the garden mark and my hand just followed it. <laughs> Again, engine 44, engine 44, and I explained that in the video that I posted up yesterday. But there we go, guys. You're uh, getting the back shots here. And the seat that's on the Squire now was sacrificed off of my older Squire, and this seat pan is from actually from that landlord when I got that landlord originally so you, know, you can see even though it's got a pretty good tear going along here uh, if you guys go read that story it's kind of amazing that that seat is in any kind of shape at all with spending the majority of its life stuck in a culvert with a uh, tire uh, busted off the bead um, I used the old Squire for the plowing duties, for the grading duties, for pulling the trailer. You can see I've got a hitch mounted here. Mounted a hitch to Ugly Alice too. Uh, just one stays in the garage, one stays in the shop. So that way I don't have to go halfway across the country to get a tractor to move a trailer or something like that. And then of course the old B10 again. And as no, another thing, uh, I. I, I have to apologize because I don't remember who sent me the uh, uh, belt covers for this deck, but they were originally B, uh, B series deck because you can see the paint flaking off on it. And I didn't have covers when I first got the, the, the deck. And one of the simple tractors guys sent me those. So pretty cool. And you can see she's wearing original tread on the back because. I need to get another set of ag tires, but I gotta wait a while. Um, anyway, oh, there's something little. There's a toolbox off the of Massey Ferguson that I just painted silver and mounted the original Alice Chalmers emblem with the cream background, which really is, wasn't in too bad a shape. Mounted that to the toolbox, and I don't put much in there, just there's a towel and a pull rope and a uh, shop rag and paper towels just whatever I happen to need to take along with me I take there's my Diet Coke we cannot leave home without it and let's see here I, I was going somewhere with oh the uh, grill mesh is actually from two different grills you can see the line going right across there the top of this original grill mesh was just toast and you know overall I, I'm not complaining it's a working tractor but there that is a new reproduction Alice Chalmers badge so that's why the other one is on the back of the other tractor so I've blabbed for 14 minutes I know you guys some of you guys are like oh listening to you is like listening to Bill Maher or not Bill Maher but oh what's his name the guy from uh Ferris Bueller's day off. Bueller. Bueller. Yeah. If my voice bothers you that much, go watch another video. I really could give a rat's ass. <laughs> okay, there we go, guys. Got the little five babies all lined up. There is still the 3416 Hydro and the little 305 rear engine rider, but didn't want to pull them out. Just wanted to pull out all the foot draggers. That's it. This is Zippo.
later. I hope everyone has an absolutely awesome 2013 Memorial Day weekend. And don't forget to thank those that have given their lives for us to keep our freedoms. This is Zippo. Later. I'm out.